Next Turk channel. What's up, guys? Your King Knight Vince Valentine EX Turk, and the reason why my hair looks all curly and stuff like that is the fact it, 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 the, re, it, the reason why my hair looks kind of curly is just I just took my braids out, so yeah, sorry for the messy hair right now, and yeah, I just threw on a wife beater, didn't, didn't get bothered because well, I was gonna be home all day anyways until. I had to do some errands, but that's another time in another place. That's not here or near or has any relevance to what we're going to be talking about. And before I go to bed, I do got to share the bad news. Like I said, I got to share any news, any Final Fantasy news. It's just in my nature to share news. Whether it's, the, whether it's disheartening or it's good news, I got to go preach the news. I just gotta put the news. I just gotta put the news out there. Sorry, I'm just. I have really bad AV. There it goes. Try to make the headband look, make it look good. All right. All right. There it goes. This will work. But anyways, bad news. Final Fantasy VII remake is well postponed for the next three years. You know, I'm at this point where I know Tabitha messed up Final Fantasy VII. But, at least we got the game. We got the game, even though it was split up and cut up to pieces that you had to buy later on. You know, you still got a full game. Despite Chapter 13's bullshit. And Chapter 14's, we don't know what the fuck just happened. I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather have had that than to deal with the fact where it's like I thought they were finished with Final Faces that remake. What else could they possibly do? Then they just call the voice actors back to finish their lines? I mean, we just saw the E three trailer not too long ago, like twenty fifteen where we saw Steve Burton's Cloud and I forgot who Barrett's voice actor was, but the Avon Children voice actors for Barrett and Cloud in the in remake trailer number two, and this was 2000, I think, no, maybe not 2015, I'm using the 2015 trailer, 2016 trailer. So, I just gotta ask Square Enix, what gives? What gives? What gives us? Now, this goes for Kingdom Hearts 3, which I don't have no Kingdom Hearts footage or any Kingdom Hearts games or otherwise I would be talking about. The Kingdom Hearts 3 also being pushed back too, but I don't have no Kingdom Hearts footage on the PSN. That stuff is on my laptop only. Until I get the H one day get the HD collection for the PS4, but that's when it goes down really because well I got other things to get, like I do need to get Injustice 2 right now, but that and an episode prompto, but that's not the point. That's not here or there. The point I'm trying to say is that, yes, um, I'm going to make this specifically Final Fantasy Sim Remake video because I'm a little bit more hyped for Final Fantasy Sim Remake considering, I don't know, it's my favorite game of all time for Final Fantasy, but nonetheless, yes, don't look forward to, whatever you do, do not look forward to seeing the Final Fantasy Seven Remake come out next year or... The year after this because now they want to push it back for three years. I don't know el else you could possibly do. I mean, Final Fantasy, yeah, Final Fantasy Seven story was long. I get that. I understand how long it was, but it's not that long. It's not three more years long, even when you make this a full game. Isn't the idea of episodic, isn't the epis, isn't the idea of episodic content being that you buy the first disc, then you go down, then you go, you know, download the other two episodes and the other two episodes come out. And then soon it turned to a full game. I don't know, like one of their games, one of the Square Enix games that's not Final Fantasy game. Life is strange! <laughs> Life is strange! I mean, like, that's what happened. It became a full game at the end of the day. You know, it was episodic. So it's like, you know. But, you know, that's pretty much what the idea of episodic is. That if you release the first part, people can wait next year or the year after that for the other two parts. I mean, the first part alone for Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be so massive. 
And if they're going to cover the entire Midgar arc and a little bit what happens after Midgar, such as when they go to Calm or when they go to Cosmo Canyon, you know, all the way, or, or you know, maybe not the Cosmo Canyon, but, you know, when they had to fight the Genova um, life, you know, when, you, when they had to fight her on the ship, which this could be switched with Sephiroth, this would be a perfect time to end the game. Sephiroth gets beat, but, you know, doesn't die. He just gets beat and just comes back another time. Ends that game pretty well, but and then you have to download part two and part three. Now, the only thing I don't like is this will not make Vincent and Yuffie available into, uh, I mean, it wouldn't make Yuffie or Vincent Valentine you know, available until the next two episodes, as well as any cutscenes with Zack, unless that's the cutscenes they start with. But I have a feeling they're going to try to make this close to the original with just a few minor changes. But that's, you know, again, I, that's just one thing I got to make a little, you know, rant about. Is like the fact is, I thought this game was nearly completed. I was under the impression that this game was complete, almost completed. So, what could they add there? The Everything in Gold Saucer? They don't take very much. They don't take very much. What are they putting in here? Do you get PSN downloads of the Final Fantasy VII completion or something like that? I mean, even though it's no longer canon, maybe that's what's going on. Maybe if you buy like the Deluxe or Ultimate Edition or Collector's Edition, you'll get a Dirge of Cerberus PSN download from the PS2. And it's not remastered, it's just the PS2 version for the PS4. Crisis Core from the PSP, but onto the PS4. Before Crisis, Dirge of Cerberus Lost Episodes. Maybe a new, uh, a new compilation game that was not released before. I don't know. But, or maybe, I don't know, a little novel. What, I mean, what could they possibly be putting in here that's going to make this a three-year a three year wait? I mean, for goodness sakes, do I have to keep taking pictures of my PS4 to show you how hyped I am for the Final Fantasy VII Remake? That's fine. For, that, the skin I'm using for the PS4 is Cloud holding Zack's Buster Sword at the end of Crisis Core with Final Fantasy VII and the controllers. I even bought, I even spent 50 cents on the little control knobs to match with the controller thing. Like, I don't believe this. That's what I'm saying. I don't really believe this. I, I, I don't want to believe this. It's not that I don't believe this. I don't want to believe this. I don't want to believe that, you know, you say this game's almost done, but then fuck us over by saying it's not finished. Now, what is going on here? I'm curious to what is going on. What did they, what could possibly take three more years? What could possibly take three more years to do this? Unless they're working on one of the games, I mean... If you're working on Kingdom Hearts 3 first, and then you just push Final Fantasy 7 back, okay, well, yeah, Tetsuo Norma's working on both games at, at once, and, you know, that does, that's very taxing to the body, mind, and soul. I have a friend who's in, an, my best friend who made my intro is in animation, so he would understand, even though Tetsuo Norma's a director, even to direct, to make sure things go well, as hard as it is. Now, if they said they're going to push back Final Fantasy 7 Remake to finish Kingdom Hearts 3, okay, then I, that's understandable. That's understandable. You know, you don't want to push too many pro. You don't want to push too many projects all at once, and you know, and you know, you won't be able to give your all to one project, and it ends up failing. I understand how stressful the Final Fantasy 7 Remake is going to be because you know, talking and I know this because talking about it on there could get people either to love you to death or to hate your guts for coming out with a fan theory that not everybody disagrees with, that everyone agrees with with the Final Fantasy VII Remake. But the point is, I'm disappointed alongside the fan base. I'm pretty disappointed, you know, because they're pushing both back. If they're pushing one back to finish the other, that would make sense. I can rock with that because that's understandable. You, do, you know, you do have to put... You're all in one project. You do have to get further in your projects. You do have to do what you need to do and have your hustles. 
But if you're just pushing this back because you don't feel like releasing it, that's kind of, well, bad marketing. And people ain't going to give a fuck about the games when it comes out. Let's be quite honest. One of the reasons why Final Fantasy XV got a bad rep besides the whole short end of the story. Besides the chapter 13 and the short end of the story... They just kept pushing that game back to the point where, like, you know what? We don't even care about it no more. We don't even want it. I mean, it don't even matter no more. And I don't want that for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Final Fantasy VII played a huge role in my life. I grew up without a father. I grew up in a harsher conditions. And playing Final games like Final Fantasy VII, the, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and all those 90s video games we all love put made us pretty much made us you know made us forget about our troubles made us forget that we even had troubles because we were stuck in an adventure so final fantasy 7 and then i got this as a graduation present with the playstation 1 so that's all i did for that whole summer besides you know swimming and other you know act summerish activities was play final fantasy 7 so, this game means a whole bunch to me. So, I just gotta ask Square Enix, what the fuck is going on here? What is going on, bro? Why are you doing this to us? What do we do? I'm sorry if it's a bad review for Final Fantasy XV that's making uh, you do this stuff. I, I We changed our mind. It's good. It's perfect. Please release this game. We need Final Fantasy VII Remake. And may the crystal be with you. I don't know what's going on, but... I ain't too happy about this either, so I'm done with the rant. I'm going to leave the, the link below for the article. Just to let you know you're going to cringe and throw your controller. I understand.